Hi. This time I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way to straighten a photograph. If you have a recent version of Photoshop, you may be able to do this automatically, or you might not. Let me show you what I mean. This is a picture I took from a plane while flying to San Francisco in the summer of 2009. I had to twist around in the seat to get a clear shot from the window, so the picture is pretty crooked. Let's see what happens when I try to use the automatic crop and straighten command with this shot. I go to File, Automate, Crop and Straighten Photos. And Photoshop thinks for a little minute, and then it gives me these four little tiny pictures because it thought I was looking at stuff on a scanner, or I really don't know what it was thinking. But it wasn't thinking what I was thinking because I want to have this all as one big shot with everything in the picture. So I'm going to have to do this manually. Fortunately, it's really easy. First, hold down the Option key, that's Alt on a PC and double-click on the thumbnail to float it. Now it's not the background anymore, it's layer 0. You'll see why that's important in a couple of minutes. Then get the ruler tool. It's probably hidden under the eyedropper. There it is. And then just draw a line that shows where the horizon should have been in your image. If you want to adjust it, you can grab hold of either end of the line here and move it up or down. You can drag it way out of the picture, it's okay. And of course, you can use anything that you want to in the picture that will give you an idea of where the horizon line should be, something that should be straight. Then just go to Image, Image Rotation, Arbitrary, and you'll find that it already has an angle in there. Just click OK, and that straightens your image, just like that. Now all we have to do is crop it. So grab the Crop tool. Make sure that if there's anything in the width and height or resolution up here that you just click the Clear button so that there's nothing that's going to constrain your movement when you start to make the marquee. And then just draw your marquee. I want to have as much information in this image as possible, so I'm going to pull it right to the edges. I'm not worried about the transparent edges here because we're going to fix that in a minute. So I'm just going to pull it up and pull it over. Looks pretty good. Double click, and there it is cropped and straightened. Now I just need to fill in these transparent areas, and I'm going to do that with a filter. So go to the Filter, Flaming Pair, and from this long list I'm going to choose Solidify B. And there it is. Cropped and straightened and filled in. That's all there is to that. Okay, I cheated. I used a filter that is not part of Photoshop. It's not bundled with it. You have to grab it separately from the internet, but it's really easy to do. Let me switch over to Safari here. All you have to do is go to the Flaming Pear site, that's flamingpear.com, and go to the download page, and then scroll down the page, and way down here near the bottom you'll find free plugins. And all you have to do is click on your platform to download them. There are a lot of filters in there, and they're really good. I would recommend it even if you weren't cropping or straightening photos and didn't need to have the Solidify. There's just so much nice stuff in there, and it's free. And while you're at it, look at all of the other filters that they have, too, because they're really good, they're not expensive, and I highly recommend all of them. You can get a 30-day download for free for any of them and try them out and see if you like them, too. And no, I'm not connected to Flaming Pear in any way. I just really like their filters and find them very useful. So that's that. This has been Robin Wood, and I hope you found this helpful.